guys, how's it going? So I caught this uh, song in a commercial for Reese's Pieces, of all things, on YouTube, and uh, found out that this is a song by uh, Daft Punk. The song is, in my opinion, extremely repetitious, but I wanted to copy the sound as an exercise, just to see if I could come close to the actual synthesizer sound, and I think I did. Let me show you what I'm doing in terms of playing and uh, we can go through my helix preset how to achieve the sound so this is my expression pedal and i'm toggling between two sounds sound number one and sound number two notice spillover delay to help me glue the two parts together so it's so we're looking at hx edit so first block is the pitch wham it is to add an extra lower octave for a more powerful power chord now if you want to make your filter work exactly the same way as you need it to work sometimes you may need to add a volume pedal to cut the initial volume and uh yeah in my case, I had to basically dial it in and it was about 90%, but uh, play it by ear. Basically the point is that sometimes the filter may be too ice picky unless you cut the initial volume and you can do that with a fixed volume pedal. That's a trick I use quite a lot. This is the Tron Up filter. It's bypass knob because we're in the heel position and it's from the legacy folder. And then this is my distortion, and this is my amp, and this is the delay. Now in terms of the bypass assignments, right? Um, the delay is bypass assigned to the expression pedal two, right? And the filter is also bypass assigned to the same expression pedal too. So as you saw earlier, I'm able to toggle between two sounds as I rock my pedal back and forth. So just two things, uh, actually three things. This pitch block is also bypass assigned to the same expression pedal too. Now, the interesting trick is that uh, we have delay spillover, right? Because we have trails enabled so as you bypass the expression with your expression pedal the delay pedal i'm also increasing the feedback as you know just here see the feedback is assigned to expression pedal too so as i'm rocking the pedal let's see if i can do it see this is what happens toe position toe position see decreased feedback heel position increase feedback so it glues the two parts together better um yeah that's pretty much it so just as an exercise decided to do it thanks for watching